Well, basically, the idea is for man to discover true reality. You can discover true reality only if we reveal the Creator. Well, a person, through different psycho-training, can entirely change his perception. Impossible. I'm sorry, of course, that I'm cutting you off, but impossible. What does it mean to change yourself? He, himself, is changing himself, right? Mm, that's rubbish. What does it mean that a person can change himself? Meaning, in the framework in which he exists, he can aim himself at one or another thing to perceive something in certain aspects. So what? Well, for instance, we build an environment. People decide to relate differently to many things. An environment that tells you and tells you and tells you about it, and automatically, through the self-training, they start perceiving it as something natural. Meaning that in this case, he no longer changes himself, but the environment changes him. Suppose they think about something, I'm peaceful, I'm healthy, and so on. Oh, well, right, yeah, and uh, he changes his reality to a certain extent, his perception, the way he feels, right. Yeah, he calms himself down, so what? Kabbalah, it also engages in perception of reality, in the changing of perception of reality. What do you mean by reality? What reality did he change? What reality did he change by doing that? He stayed in his own tools and in his own desires. He simply tears himself away from the perception of that which exists, limits himself somehow in order not to feel pain and so on. What did he change? He didn't change anything. And we don't change ourselves in Kabbalah either. Kabbalah simply tells us how can we change ourselves through an external force, that there is an external force, so-called light, that has created us, that holds our desire in this egoistic form. And through certain actions, we can create such an influence of light that will change us, and that's it. We don't do anything ourselves, we can't. We can only unite amongst us, and to want to make the light change us, to make us similar to it. But when a person is blind, he doesn't even know what the, the real world is. A blind person doesn't even understand what the conversation's about. And when you demand a person to see, and he doesn't know what to see, those are the exact problems. It's not a problem. A person is not obliged to see, knowing that he's blind. Who does that? Only an idiot. What, can I beat a small child and demand something of him that he can't do? Who am I then? We're not demanded to do that. We're told, gather like children in a kindergarten together, start bonding. Amongst yourself, try to understand whether you can bond or not. Convince yourselves that you can't. Convince yourselves that you're complete egoists. And alongside with it, look in the book. That's called the Book of Zohar, or another name, and see how you can change. How can you draw upon yourselves light that causes a change in you? What does it mean to draw? You're not drawing it from any place. By reading that book that speaks about your inner changes, you can awaken them in yourself. To awaken, not that you do something. You awaken those changes from within. And that's it. I don't do anything myself. I, myself, merely gather in a circle, holding hands with my friends and all of us together. We want to be connected together in order to achieve the next higher level. Yeah? A circle meaning that we're all equal. And that way, with the help of the study and with the help of the thriving to be equal and together, we awaken a special inner force. It exists in nature and holds us all together. It exists within us, and it's called the Creator. 
and that's it. And then we change. That power has created us as egoists and wants us ourselves to achieve a request for it to change us to the opposite to what we are now, to this day. But we never felt that reality, the reality that you're telling about. What you're telling us about, we never felt that. We're blind with respect to it, meaning we're thriving to something we don't understand. We only hear it in words. No, we're thriving for it because logically we understand that that's the only way out. Different communistic societies, they were the first in human history. Humanity always thought that bonding is something good. Everyone always praised bonding and took pride. People always took pride in, look how I love everyone and so on. So don't say that it's a, an unnatural state for us. Unnatural because we can't realize it through our own nature and only because of that. But we would like to do that, especially in today's crisis, under the threat of war, destruction, that everything is falling apart, like slough skin. What kind? Slough. You ever read Balzac? Well, a long time ago, a long time ago. So there was this French guy. Okay, so... Please. What do I have to say? Everything's clear to me. Well, I don't know how much easier it is when you understand this reality until you make it to the end. Everything's very easy. Everything's very easy. Only much harder, of course, because it's like parents looking at their small child that's suffering and they can't help him because it demands his participation.